The Hellcat Miata is back. We're gonna try and dyno it again. Last time we had it on a dyno, it spun every gear and we couldn't do anything. So we just made a bunch of noise, a bunch of smoke, and it was just a, a show. So this time, we've got the HP tuners hooked up to it. We're gonna do a little bit of tuning and we're also gonna try to accomplish some sort of a usable dyno hold. So let's see what we can get out of that. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, this is a Hellcat engine stuffed into an NB Miata. So go check out his channel. That's Car. Hi, Car. <laughs> and uh, you can see the entire build process to see exactly what went into putting this motor into this car. It's not. Uh, for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that right now. I took it for a spin with Rudnick last time he was here, and it was a real, it was a real shit show on wheels, I'll tell you that. It just spins basically every year until you get to like fourth. So, um, we'll see what we can do. I'm not expecting, uh, I'm not expecting much traction, I'll tell you that right now. But they did raise up the back a little bit and put a couple hundred pounds of concrete in the trunk so we got a little bit more here just in case but the trunk is now full of concrete bags so we'll see if that helps straps are nice and tight um, these tires are taking a beating from this stuff so we'll see what happens but there we go a couple 80 pound bags a couple 80 pound bags so yeah so almost 200 pounds 160 pounds in the back right there that's a uh, that's a full-grown me sitting in the back. I might need more than that, we'll see. But let's see what it, she does. Uh, I'm gonna start her up now, and we'll line her up, make sure she's ready to make a rip, and then we'll give her hell. Bud Light! Uh, pretty intense the vibration that comes out of this car is insane when you're in the driver's seat it literally was just rattling every bone in my body so um, let's see how it did all right so we hit 536 to the wheel with 519 foot-pounds of torque so that's pretty pretty good it's close honestly uh, I'd like to see another 20 to 30 horsepower to get you where it needs to be but that is pretty indicative of the amount of power this thing really is making and from my experience like 550 ish on this is a full 700 horsepower at the motor so pretty solid that's a pretty solid uh dyno run and that's realistic for what we're expecting next we'll uh we'll play with some more parameters maybe add a little bit of timing we'll check and see how the fueling is and uh it's gonna be tough with those big open headers, but we'll go ahead and try and tweak it a little bit. 
I think that the exhaust might be lacking a little bit, so uh, there is a possibility we're missing a little bit of power from that, that back pressure uh, discrepancy. So let's go ahead and make a couple more little adjustments and see how she does. All right, we added a little bit of timing, and uh, we're gonna see how that reacts. Okay, gains are pretty good. Um, looks like we picked up about 20 horsepower from that. We're sitting right here in the 550 range, so we're getting close to my goal. 560 is about where they need to be. So that's pretty good, pretty solid number. Um, and we'll see uh, how much more is in her. Now, like I said, we get the 560 and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the sweet spot for this setup. I mean, it's pretty pretty stock and like I said I think there's a little bit on the table still from the exhaust so I'll go ahead and tweak it a little bit more uh, I don't want to go too crazy with it because obviously he's having a lot of fun with the car we don't want to prevent him from doing that so I'll tweak it a little more see if we can get a little more out of it but uh, get close to where it needs to be in there. That was a good pull. As you can see, we tapped into that 560 range. So 562 with 521 torque. Now we're now we're where we need to be. So happy with that. We had 562 on that one, so that's about right. Pretty gnarly car. A little one, but gnarly. So we just finished up with the Hellcat Miata, the Hell Kitty, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see, we picked up a good solid 35, almost 40 horsepower. And uh, Carr took it for a little spin and says he can actually notice a difference. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference. I mean, it, uh, worse, like it, it spins even more now. But It's, it's hard funny. to believe. Yeah, it, it's, it's wild. That's you awesome. Know? Yeah, it's wild. Like, you, you guys will see some stuff. It's, it's wild. <laughs> so stay tuned to his channel to see the, the, the mayhem that ensues with the the Hell Kitty. Uh, really happy to, to be able to put that on a dyno. It's a unique experience, a unique car. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it. And we definitely want to do some more stuff to it. I think you're gonna you're gonna go lay down some runs with Rudnick eventually, right? Eventually. eventually. See see what you can do with him. Yeah. Eventually. We're we're building his car out to, to hopefully go tens. Yeah. That'd we want cool. we want to go tens. I mean we're not we're not working with a lot of power, but we definitely want to. Uh, we want to maximize what we got and see if we can get into the tens with it. And I'm sure that the uh, Hell Kitty can do that spinning halfway down the track. It's, yeah, it's just very dangerous. <laughs> it's a dangerous car in yeah. its current setup. It needs some 
the suspension and wheels and stuff like that to really be a safe ride. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So he'll keep working on that. That car will get better. That car will get faster. And anything I can do to help it get there, I'm gonna do. So thanks for coming down, man. Thank you, Jack. Thank and you. we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Go check out his channel. And if you guys like the video, stay tuned because there's more. Another little treat for you guys. Check it out, TRC's here. Say hi to Nick. What's up, he, guys? He came uh, all the way down here from Jacksonville, right? Or yes, north sir. of Jacksonville? Yeah, a little bit north of Jacksonville, yeah. So he's, he's down here. He's going to be shooting some stuff with the guys down south. And he stopped in here to do some updates. So stay tuned to TRC. You're going to see some cool stuff. You'll see some updates with the shop and a couple of updates with a project that we're thinking about doing. So we went and got some gas. And uh, now we're just going to go for a little quick rip. So you'll see that on the TRC channel. Be ready for that. But for now, that's going to do it. That's the end. Time for the weekend. I'm taking a couple days off. I hope you guys enjoy the content and I hope you guys stay tuned for more.